made more money on yeah. Cat Williams alone than I made in any year that I played the NFL. Cat! I got me a little something today with Ocho. Look at that, Ocho. Oh. I, I don't care how gangster, I don't care how funny. If they not athletic, bro. Green. Oh. Now, have you been on the receiving end of a dunk? It ain't no fam out there, so it don't. Ah. And then you had Skip Bayless had to chime in on it. I ain't never jumped that high in my life. This was the easiest block you'll ever see. It's a 10. It Since it's so easy, you do it. And if you can't do that, shut up. Hey, and push his flanche down. I heard he your brother. Who you gonna hit? Exactly. When he jumped on that court, he shrunk. He said, damn. Damn. It's it different out here now. Come on, that right there, bro. Okay. What he should have been saying, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Turn it back up, you touch my muscle. You're so crazy. What the f are those? The what? But I know MJ. MJ ain't make them. Maybe Larsa. Oh, this oh Four years, one eight, includes 50 million signing bonus. It is extremely alarming that he only had one playoff win in 12 years. He's coming off of an injury. Why didn't they get Justin Fields? Yeah. I can't make it about me. But if I were to make it about me, it's like, I'm in Atlanta. But damn, f who is your agent? Welcome to 4th and 1, where I always got it done. Welcome to 4th and 1, where I always got it done. Bring the facts by the tongue before the rising of the sun. But this ain't me in a shotgun. Uh-oh, wrong ball, wrong ball, wrong ball. Let me just shoot. This ain't me in front of the TV having a whole lot of Fun! Yes. Peggy! What's good, bud? You made another episode, huh? I made another, I survived and live another day. All right, now watch out with that survive word, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? This TV show is about that. Hey, I know you're enjoying all this content for the masses, but it's simple. Do you see that little red button right there? Just tap it. One time. That's it. Not twice, just once. See where that gets you. That's you taking care of me. Back to your regular schedule program. Let's get on to it, man. Viral moment of the week, first down. Let's see what we got. Man, we got Shannon Sharp. Man, Shannon Sharp said he made more money doing a Cat Williams interview than he did in one year playing for the NFL. Let's see what he got. We got a few videos to support this. We're talking about well, how much money I made doing the Cat Williams interview. Whatever you think, I just got the check. So whatever you think I made, three X. <laughs> Let me see. So if you think I made 500,000, three exits. Let me if see. you think I made a million, three exits. Let me see. If that. you think I made two million, three exits. Let me see it. Let me see it. <laughs> I got me a little something to day with Ocho. Look at that Ocho. Oh, I got that old John Mayer. Hey, hold on. Hold on. What's that? That's the John Mayer. Discontinue. Hold on. It's the John green Mayer. face. Wait, the guitar, yeah. the guitar player? Your body's a wonderland. <laughs> you know what I put it like this here. I made I made more money on yeah. Cat Williams alone than I made in any year that I played the NFL. Mm. Ooh. That's saying a lot. So, so we trying to figure it out, basically. I mean, how much money did you make? Um, you know what we gonna do? We go, we go, we go get down to the bottom of it. To the grist. Let me tell you something. Before we get down to the bottom of it, uh -huh. I think we're missing something. What's up? Because if we really want an investigator, we don't need to go to the FBI, no CIA. You know who we need to go get? Who? A concerned. Black woman. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something about them on, sisters on. out there when they wanna find something out. What are they gonna do? They're gonna find out. They're gonna find out every code. Yeah. They're gonna find out any type of thing that you. Bruh, listen, let me you tell ain't you something. about that one. Let me tell you something. A sister? She gonna get to the bottom of it. I mean, d down to the dirt of it. <laughs> okay. Well, we ain't got one of them on set right now. It's some some people that acting like sisters, but you know. <laughs> All right, now. Yeah. You're speeding now. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we got, bro. Man, so man, Shannon. I mean, the highest year that he made, we seen him nine hundred thousand seven fifty five, two million in oh one, three million in nineteen ninety nine. I mean, like he made twenty three million over his twenty two million over the course of his career, but we got about three million. Yeah. For a year, that's a lot of money to do a video, a yeah. one interview. You walking away with a three million dollars? Um, man, I don't know. That's a blessing. Who you saying? Good, cause that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> if y'all give me that star power too, come on now. What you gonna do? With I it, told, bro? but I told, I told him, I told him at Super Bowl, and I was serious as could be. Mm -hmm. the, Shannon Sharp has created opportunity 
for me. You dig what I'm saying? Explain. Like, the Stephen A's of the world too, the Shaq's of the world too. Like, I make sure that every single time I get on these guys' platform, I try to do my best, not in a disingenuous way, in a very organic way to say, without a Shannon Sharp, without a Stephen A, without really a Pat McAfee. Like, these guys have paved the way so guys like me, who are not your prototypical uh, news provider, mm -hmm. can do what he do. His way. So, shh. Cat! Talk since you out here giving out blessings, <laughs> since you changing folks' <laughs> lives. Shh. Bring your ass on down here to fucking Friday. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? We, you, we know you're going to pull up to a Friday, but this ain't no next or after. This is Funky Friday. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and since we're talking about Cat. I said, bro, play it. I got to play it. Just play the clip. And I'm going to tell you the most impressive thing about this. <laughs> So at the age of 52, my man ran a 4.97. You got to check the form. Yeah, he had them Nike cleats on. I was about to say, he I had them Nike the same cleats. Thing but got me. I want to know why he got the one high Nike and the one low Nike. That's that swag. Okay. Swag, swag sold separately. Is, swag is extremely sold separately. <laughs> but right there, though, I saw that and I was about to say, like, yo, bro. The fact that he ran out of them stiff ass Dior's. Ooh. But then when I looked at it again, I was like, that ain't no damn Dior's. That was Nike. But he 52 running a 4'9 still. Yeah, that's cool. That's, that's very thoroughly impressive. And, and and let me say this. Now, granted, this is coming from, this is subjective. Okay. But I don't care how gangster, <laughs> I don't care how funny a person is. This is just me. This is how you judge him. Bruh. If they not athletic, bro, I don't care how gangster you can be. It just mess you up, it, or how funny you can get. It's like when I see some of these people like these celebrity things, and I'll be like, bro, you can't dribble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You yeah. can't catch. You know what I'm saying? You can't throw. You, can't, well, you can't throw the ball, but you can throw a punch. Like, come on now. So I, I, look, shout out to Cat for running the uh, under under foe, like a foe, foe something. Oh, some. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you gotta, if you watch Atlanta, for all my people that watch Atlanta, mm. he done showed y'all before that he can go. Like, That's what alligator he man. At? Look at, what he looking at right there? <laughs> he getting low. He tried to he go. He low. He tried to go. <laughs> and I love that shit, man. Look. He getting low. He done got low on y'all, man. Man, now, what, what I would pay to see. What you, get, what you putting your money on now? Is he the fastest comedian out there? The comedian it's, Olympics. Because Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, look, I ain't he trying to get out. messy. I ain't trying to get messy. Kevin work out. And I think the dopest thing that I've probably seen Kevin do over the night, he's done a, a lot of dope ass shit. He was doing this run initiative. And he mm. everywhere he would go, he would be like marathon jogging Correct. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that don't mean he fast though. That means he got a lot of endurance. endurance. But a hundred meter dash? 60 meters. It's 60. Indoor, indoor 60. You know what I'm saying? 60. Kevin 40. versus Cat. Fuck it. 40 yards. Woo! Who got the fastest 40? I don't know. Then you throw Mike Epps in there. Oh. I don't know. Mike, Mike, Mike. just looks like. Yeah. He Mike looks like talk. he ain't. Yeah, Mike looks like he ain't fucking. He one of them dudes that just used to pull up to the basketball game just to talk shit. You just feel? to talk shit. You ain't played all games. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, Andy. Hey, talking about. <laughs> Shoot, Desi, and I don't know if like a DC know. Young Fly, uh, like yeah, all them uh, new age, the the new wave of the comedians. new wave, yeah. You know, what I'm saying that would be know. a little, that'd be something. That'd yeah. be something. Shit, since everybody doing all these damn exhibitions, they fighting. Why you can't race, race them? You dig what I'm saying? Man, they ain't get them no outside their pocket. But needless to say, not to prolong this, you know, what I'm saying the situation. Next clip. 
Man, Anthony Edwards. ATL. My boy got ups, man. Let's see. Let's check it out. To close it out, look like you hit your head on the back floor. Yeah, I hit my head, I think, on the rim. It's hurting real bad. And I landed on my wrist, but I mean, you know, I saw him with the lane. I knew he was going for the for the layup, and I was just like, man, I'm finna go get this. I ain't never jumped that high in my life. <laughs> That's crazy. That, that's crazy. And then you had Skip Bayless had to chime in on it. Yeah. This was the easiest block you'll ever see. You gave this a 10. It's the yeah. easiest block ever. Knew okay. you were going to have okay. something to say. It's All just right. like, you I, know what? I can't it with turned you, into man. a dad block. You just want to antagonize me right no, I'm now. I'm not antagonize. I don't he even care does. about you. I'm just telling the truth. Skip, he can't see yeah. his teammates. What was back Aaron Neesmith? Just try to dunk it. He, he Go up hard. He can't dunk it. Go hard. He can't. Well, you can. The def <laughs> well, you can. There you go, the analyst. Here we go. Oh, Here we go. Here we go. Can we, can we separate? Can we give, give Ed some love? And then some. That's cool. <laughs> Skip. <laughs> you do it. Facts. And talking about it since it's so easy, you do it. That that cut all that bullshit out. Like, you say it's so easy, you do it. Mm -hmm. And if you can do it, sh that'll tell me how easy it is for somebody to get done. For the game? To seal it? To seal it. Since it's so easy, you do it. Yeah, facts. As a matter of fact, not even the block shot. Never mind that. I don't think you understand or understood the assignment. Hit your head on the rim. <laughs> Bro, that's like, that's up. You see what I'm saying? Hi, hi, hi. Every day. Since you want to downplay, oh, it was easy. And that's a dad block. Look, let me tell you something. Fuck the block. <laughs> Hit your head on the orange. <laughs> and if you can't do that, sh shut up. And keep your irrelevant comments to yourself. Bro. You feel me? And I like Skip. Yeah. But, but you right can't there. say that, Skip. You speeding, Skip. I mean, You're bro, skipping too fast, you Skip. Pop the hamstring. Golly. There you go. Next clip. Man, up next, we got Jalen Green. Man, he gets up. So this is the next video in addition to, to uh, Anthony. But this was the dunk of the year. You tell me. In the last 24 hours. <laughs> Rockets, green, oh! oh! Oh my goodness! On Simon's dome! <laughs> my lord. Oh my lord. Got with him. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna, yeah, you wanna get out of there. Now, have you been on a receiving end or, or, of a dunk? Have you ever got dunked on or dunked on somebody? It ain't no film out there, so it don't. Ah! You know, <laughs> we'll never know. But to <laughs> this to this clip right here, I mean, I wouldn't be me if I don't keep it a big buck now. we will keep it a buck now. Is it to say it's because of his uh, new news that he's just jumping for joy? <laughs> it might be. What so. you got to say about it, Pig? He got a bundle of joy. Yeah, he's jumping yeah, for that one. cool. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, is cool. she considered a cool? Why she so? Is. How is she considered a cougar? What's what's a cougar though? He's about ten, he's about fifteen years younger. So I heard I heard a statistic <laughs> that said how y'all gonna get mad at Drea for dating somebody that young, uh -huh. but y'all don't keep that same energy with Drake yeah. dating somebody that, that young. young. That's true. What's the, I need answers. Some cougar talk. I need some. Whew. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of cougar care. <laughs> Does she look good? Boy, let me tell you something, boy. That's what they say. Black don't crack. And once you go black, you never go, go what? Back. I'm trying to tell you now. Now, listen, Jalen, you got to stay strapped. <laughs> but listen, let me tell you something. When they, when, they, when they get the best of you, <laughs> all that go to the back. <laughs> <laughs> don't even worry about it, baby. We here now. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Next clip. <laughs> Next clip. <laughs> Man, I know you know this dude real carefully, man. I know you know him personally, my be uh, Luke Kuechly, 
This is an important video that they show love to him. Keekly retired from the National Football League at just 28 years old. In typical Luke fashion, there was no farewell tour, no address in the media. He just simply said goodbye to the fans. He had a genuine passion for learning and understanding the game. As his former high school coaches have said, they've never coached a kid who studied the game like Keekly. Let me tell you something, gentlemen. From the moment Clark Kent arrived at Chestnut Hill, things got spooky. Things got real spooky. During his time at BC, he won the Buckus Award, the Lombardi Award, the Lock Trophy, the Brock. I mean, you name it, gentlemen. He was reeling it in. But it was really no surprise when Carolina made him the first linebacker off the board in the 2012 NFL Draft. I'll tell you what is surprising, though, all right? Something about a guy you could pass at your local Whole Foods and have no idea he was one of the most dangerous men on the planet. Something about a guy that loses a couple screws when he takes the glasses off and puts on that... <laughs> Uh, uh. Oh yeah. Man, Luke, Lukey, baby. August. So yeah. In eight years, no linebacker has recorded more tackles. Hall of Fame. Pass breakups. Hall of Fame. Or interceptions. Hall of Fame. Easy. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Man, we thank you, Lukey. August. Man, listen. It's one of them situations where, man, I can't really express enough, you know what I'm saying? Between Luke and TD, they bought the best out of me. Wow. Well. See what I'm saying? Like, Luke bought a different version out of me, but TD bought a different version out of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like two evils. One evil is cerebral, the mm -hmm. other evil is physical. And I, ha I went against that every single day in practice. One, one so much so, like, I took it personal when Luke picked me out because I knew he knew everything, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so one particular training camp, and anybody who knew me knew, like, training camp, every time I threw a pick, I did feel gassers burp. Like, the whole field, burpees, mm -hmm. every line I would touch. I was just so mad that Luke picked me off. And anybody, like I threw, in, I did not like throwing interceptions. Yeah, You know, I was just competitive, you know what I mean? But I did that without people necessarily knowing. But favorite Luke story? Yeah. He probably forgot this. When I was coming out or working back out for the draft, I went back to IMG to train. That particular time I was there at IMG, I didn't have a receiver to throw to. And Luke was coming out of the draft and um, it wasn't a lot of people to talk to. It was Luke. <laughs> Didn't necessarily know too much about him. He just looked like one of those IMG kids that probably played like soccer or like. Yeah. I didn't know what he played, you know, never really heard of him. And it ended up being a long lasting teammate. So I met Luke when he was coming out of the draft where he was working out, threw to him like spot throws, could catch too. And uh, the rest is history, bro. Damn, that's crazy. That switch is true. Like when they talk about he hit that switch. Oh yeah, like he's a nice guy off the field, but uh, don't don't f do not get that shit twisted. Do not it, that motherfucker will, will flip a switch. And he wasn't a he was a skillful tackler, a, a skillful tackler. He wasn't a thumper, mm -hmm. but he will thump your ass. <laughs> Respectfully, don't let him. He go thump your. You know ass. what I'm saying? Go put a dent in. Devin Funches. Oh yeah, boy. Devin, Devin Funches. He was one of those guys that could talk. Yeah. And you know, fun was cool. In this particular practice, bro, it was it was I think it was like preseason or some shit. Cause we was in Charlotte. It was a shell practice, meaning like you had shorts, but you had the the shoulder pads on, so mm -hmm. it wasn't like a physical supposed practice. Man, this motherfucker fun was talking shit and. Man, he called a drag or a slant. And granted, I'm the quarterback, so I'm throwing it to him. Yeah. I didn't even get to throw it to him. Fun was coming across the middle. And then the respect that he had, it wasn't a cheap shot. It's just like you come across the middle under five yards. All you heard was, him, him. <laughs> So I'm dropping down. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. This is the only time you're going to see this machine come up. <laughs> Coach, you just gonna let him hit me like that? <laughs> Next play, guys. <laughs> hey, nobody fuck with Luke, bro. Nobody fuck with Luke. But shit, he hit that motherfucker all you heard. <laughs> oh. 
He ain't gonna play with you. Yeah, and, and will not. And won't. <laughs> you dig it, I'm saying? On top of TD, too? Oh. Shit. Good night. <laughs> Next clip. So we talking about laying them out. LSU versus South Carolina. Yeah, I saw this. He did. Yeah. Let's see how it went down. Now, now, now this is the thing. <laughs> I heard he a brother. Don't matter. It, who you gonna hit? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Okay, cool, bro. That my sister, bro. That's okay. Who you gonna hit? Cause you really going into a worse situation. Worse now, yeah. Cause you throw a blow and you hit one of them females on that court. Yeah, going of, to jail now. They going to jail. He might have could have went just for jumping out there. Bro, listen. Shit, he did. Yeah, you tripping, bro. He and did. the size of some of them might hit you like a brother. Man, let me tell you, you better be let me tell you, you better watch what you're running tell you. into now. He, when he jumped on that, uh, when he jumped on that court, he shrunk. Okay, he said, "Damn, damn, it's they're 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 different they're out here now." That motherfucker big. But, they but, so but he squared up though. Get your ass. But back. bro, I seen a, I seen a video where he squared up now, with a chick. Gonna, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, bro? What, what you, you gonna, gonna do? do? That's one of them situations that's like, bro, all right, it goes from bad to worse that's to worse. That's worse. Like, Cause you jumped out there, number one. Number two, if you hit her, that's worse. And number three, if you happen to get your ass whooped jumping out there. That's the point of no return. <laughs> I mean, bro, let me tell you something. Everybody knows he wrong. Yeah, he but know he wrong. He, I just think about it like this. What's your excuse? I just seen her get hit and, and? What you gonna do, Peggy? Uh, 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 shit, bro. It's whatever with me. I'm standing over here. All right, it's a lawsuit that's out there. Exactly. You about to walk straight into a lawsuit. And the way you I touch any is. one of them doggone beautiful queens, yeah. princesses out there. Nah, not today. We go. You gonna fuck around to find out. That's all it is. And then with my little ass shit, I'm knobbing on kneecaps. How big they is? Listen. It's all. Right, my weight class. So let that be known. Anything that were to happen at a female event. That's tennis, that's basketball, that's softball, that's boxing, that's flag football, yeah. for whatever. If any male who identifies as a male or whatever, if you jump out there thinking you about to be a Joanna man, <laughs> shit. It's over, man. It's over, man. Here we go, second down. Questionable call of the week. See what we got. Got a guy. Ooh. Smooth operator. What was, what was this? This was uh, LeBron talking to the owner, Jeannie Buss, um, and Linda Rambis. She's a top exec at for the Lakers. So they were talking, and it just didn't look. It looked like he was just spitting so much game, but yeah. <laughs> it wasn't. But you got to do some uh, lip reading. First of all, happy woman in an international women's day that's what he said he was really saying happy international women's day but twitter took took the liberty of making <laughs> making it worse bro but they had so many jokes bro like when lebron walks in the front door they was like savannah gonna say oh so you a comedian now all right listen let me tell you something you know a sister let me tell you something let me tell you something let me tell you something it ain't a lot of sisters that's just out there that embodies blackness. Mm -hmm. The black mama. Uh huh. Savannah James embodies that. I it, oh my god. It's that. It's she got that resting like. You did what? She she gonna tilt her chin east and west. Okay. She, <laughs> she started getting a squinting. And she's so composed. Uh -huh. It's giving goddess. Okay. So, I mean, dare we try to come at her? We This is merely like LeBron is never going to win that battle. Yeah. Because she don't say nothing. But when, when she, she do, do. <laughs> the earth going to shake. Okay. You hear what I'm saying? And that's what a black queen could do. That's yeah. what a queen could do anyway. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? But yeah. shh. That right there, bro. Bro, it looked like he was doing some cold mac. Even though he let's, was. Let's let's do some lip reading. Okay. What he should have been saying. Hey, whoa, 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 my 
my girl here. My girl, hey, 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 easy, baby. Easy, I baby. Back up. Are. I told you back I up. You touched my muscle. I know you are. My LeBron, girl. you're so crazy. My oh, girl, so my girl, girl, my girl here, my girl here, my girl here. My girl is watching. Back up. Back my up. girl watching. Matter of fact, hey, hold on real quick. Hey, I got to use the restroom. <laughs> hey, listen, my girl here. Hey, He's talking crazy. about that contract. He's trying to get that real. That It don't matter. <laughs> tell my one million and make it two. Let me let me tell you something. With the right with the right one, with them queens, the right one, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna make it to the re up. <laughs> we gonna get some of that. <laughs> but listen, they gonna roll but God knew home. what He was doing when He created the doggone queen boy. Goodness gracious, you gotta love him. And boy, oh boy, my girl here, uh, uh, uh my girl here. Oh, you gotta roll oh, off. Oh, oh. hey, hey, you getting a little too close now? Oh, oh, ah. No, I can't. I can grab your phone. My girl watching. <laughs> Let me tell you something. And she crazy. <laughs> but there's so much stuff that happened that ain't even that. But it just looked it like don't it. matter. It looked like it. What what Uzi say? It do not matter. <laughs> 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 we don't look, bro. Let me tell you something. And then somebody probably said, "Where is Savannah in the first place? Where was this?" I forgot what game, but it was a Lakers game. Yeah. But in all in all seriousness, though, it's like. Yeah, that was, you got to cite the source. Yeah. Baby, you know who you talking to. Yeah. And even they may say, oh, that's just LeBron. Yeah, but LeBron is like the most influential sports figure in the world. Mm -hmm. Image control. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Next clip. So uh, we got Jason Williams. White chocolate goes off on Brian Windhorst. My dog. Man. I tell you, bro, he went off on it. He done, he done broke down, broke it down, bro. But if you go look at the way he played, and he's talking about AI. He played a lot of minutes and just chucked a lot of shots. And if 41% of them went in, it was considered a good job. That would not fly in today's game. The only thing that really stood out to me about that was his neck. <laughs> and like, like, how can anybody <laughs> say anything negative about Allen Iverson for all people? But just anybody in general with a neck like that. That's all I'm going to say. That's like, all I'm going to say. Like he's like he been eating grits. Yeah, like. he been eating grits. Like 41% in the, in the league. With well, sugar salt. 41 donuts. <laughs> but. Like, like, that's the last. I, I'll give Stephen A credit. At least we got some film of him, you know, shooting a jump shot or average one, or whatever it was. What has Brian Windhorst ever done athletically? But boy been looking like he been eating grits, dog. <laughs> Am I tripping though? Bro, you ain't this is my thing, dog. Like, bro, we gotta start holding people accountable, bro. I don't give a damn, bro. Accountability comes in all different shapes, forms, sizes, colors, creeds, genders. Mm -hmm. Gotta be accountable. Job descriptions, athletes, journalists, journalisms, uh, all that. Uh huh. No Nick at night. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm telling you, bro, from an athlete, dog, when you hear somebody critiquing the sport and you be like, dog, huh? How did you come up with that to say? Yeah. To think it is one thing, to say it is another. And be confident saying it. I, Strong or wrong? <laughs> come on now. With a neck like that, <laughs> gobble your ass on. But do you agree, like, did Jason Williams take it too far, though? No. Shit, they don't take it too far. That's true. The fuck, how can you tell somebody who took it too far on his tape? That's true. That's how he feel. He's standing on business. Boy, look like he's eating Shoot, porridge. You know, it, it is what it is. But, you know, I ain't going ain't ain't to step on that. But it's, it's not even about what Jason Williams said. It's what my man said. It's mm -hmm. like, it's like. You don't know. It's a lot of takes that be subjective. Yeah. A lot of takes that we would never know. LeBron versus Jordan. LeBron, Kobe versus Le Like, bro, we would never know who's the greatest. It's subjective to whoever. So keep that in, in, in the thought. Before you say it, just say my opinion, uh -huh. especially with a strong take. Because that right there, bro, you, you all in the median. You're treading. <laughs> That's the sound with them new cars when they say, hey, you need to call a break. Hey, hey, you're swerving. <laughs> yeah, hey, let's you get back on track. You too fancy for me. Hey, let's get back on track. You dig what I'm saying? But 
You know, that that's just my thing. Let's hold these people accountable, bro. Yeah, you just can't just you. be loose at the lips. It <laughs> can't be. You can't do that. Shit, somebody if 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 your producer ain't gonna hold you accountable, somebody who see that gonna hold you accountable. And nowadays these accountability uh takes ain't just off of Twitter mm -hmm. or Instagram comments. These like bro, we oh. <laughs> We got platforms too now. All right. You know what I'm saying? Talk your talk, boy. You gonna fuck around and find out. That's uh -huh. what you gonna fuck around and do. That's what they gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, we really would shake up the game if you would have like an intramural game. Oh. The journalists versus the players. players. Oh, podcast. That's a debate. You could too. do. I can do what you do. Mm -hmm. You could never do what I did. Set it up then, boo. Set it up then. That's a, that's a tagline. Say it again. For all the podcasts, okay, athletes, this the branding to me. <laughs> I can do what you do, uh huh, but you couldn't do what I did. Mm. You see what I did with that? I see that. T-shirt. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Next clip, bro. So we got Miss Nicole Tepper. Mm -hmm. When she was asked what she's most proud of, she had something else to say. I mean, we've embraced the city. I think what's great about being here in Charlotte and having this platform is being able to open up the stadium to 40 ticketed events. I mean, for the city and the state of Charlotte, for the people here and the economic impact it had. So for, for me, for Dave, like that's really one of the most proudest moments in the six years. Um, I think before there was only 10 to 13 events here. So I mean, think about that. It's amazing. So, in the six years they've been the owners of the team, the best thing, the proudest moments is opening up, what, 40 ticketed events when they had uh, about 13 before. And so, I mean, social media kind of was a little. What they say? They, they was cutting up. I mean, they had a lot to say, it, 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 you know. <laughs> so, but from Boogie. Yeah. What's your thoughts? First off, <clears throat> It's not that I got anything to say because those events has no impact on as an athlete. What you didn't know is that suite that a player may buy mm -hmm. uh, or may purchase mm -hmm. is not usable for events. So what she's saying is true. Okay. So that's a Snapple fact. So uh, let me break it down now. If you bought a suite, during for the, the season, ball, as the season, that's not your suite. If Beyonce if, come, that's the, that's no, not your suite. You gotta repay again. The NFL gonna get that coin. They gonna get that yen. Yeah. We gonna get that scratch. We gonna get that dough, mozzarella, that cheddar, provolone. So if you ain't going to the Panthers games or not, we got about forty other shows that you gonna go to. You can. You have to spend that cottage. <laughs> but. You gonna have to spend some money. So as a player, what would you feel like? Like I don't give a damn about that. That's the look. That's the business. That's the business of the stadium. That's true. Now, if we talking, I can speak only from my experiences. Mm -hmm. When I purchased any suite, I never had access to that suite when events had. Mm -hmm. When when events happen, that's a Kenny Chesney concert. That's any audio concert. That's whatever rap concert. Whatever. Then they had like other events where uh, ACC, SEC, Bell oh, the, Bowl, yeah, like Bowl all games, of those yeah. were, that suite was not my suite then. Okay. So what she's saying has nothing to do with any athlete. She's just talking about the business of the stadium. So okay. it's, it's extremely true. Now, if you want to meet your quota with uh, investing in a, black owned business or in this case black owned personality okay what can they do boy? hit my line <laughs> dog hit my line <laughs> oh man i love nicole though nicole tepper man she cool peoples dave cool peoples you yeah. know what I'm saying? i ain't got no smoke with them mm -hmm. i love them i love man charlotte will always be a part of me yeah you feel me you going there soon yeah we yeah we'll be there this week okay dig what i'm saying Bull back in the Queen City. The king back in the Queen City. King huh? back in the Queen. You know what I'm saying? When they say Charlotte, uh -huh. modern day. Modern day. day yeah. They, they call it Cam. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what they doing. Yeah. You better call Cameron. <coughs> call me. Here we go. Third down. 
Fashion clips of the week, or as I would like to call it, Cam approved, Boogie approved. Peggy, what you got for me? Man, we got them new Jordans that done hit the market, UPS style. Hmm. Let's see what they're talking about. Wait a minute, wait a minute. My man got on those if I could right. stay. See the jump man on the back? I would only be in your way. Oh, no. Hell no. What the fuck are those? What the fuck? Bro, you dead wrong for that shit now. My boy had somebody stitch the jump man with the 2-3 on the back of them. The slip resistance. Bro, come on, bro. Bro, what? He tripping. I, 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 no, he ain't going to trip with them. Them, them. them look sturdy. That's what he ain't going to do. But I know MJ. MJ ain't make them. Bro. Maybe Larsa. Oh, oh, shit. I have nothing to do with this, man. You ain't no jump ass. Them some Larsas, man. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my hey, God. hey! Oh shit! That made no damn. Michael Jordan didn't make, didn't make them. them shits. Shit! Lost a Pippin Jordan you made. Man, them. He ain't spotty with them. Cam. Nah, they ain't. He can't step nowhere with them. He can step out of some shit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, MJ didn't make them. Yeah, made them. Larson made them. Oh my lord! Next clip. Yeah, up next, man. We got Drake. He reacts to a fan shirt in the crowd. During the show. <laughs> oh, creator. The shirt was creative, man. Yeah, for sure. But you love to Step see these up. reactions. Like it's a that's a wholesome moment. That is. You feel me? Like if you create something and somebody appreciates that, mm -hmm. that's any yeah, that's artist, super, any yeah. person, any child, any any human. Yeah. Like we need a, a Boogie and Peg shirt. No. Nah, yeah, Peg. bro. Yeah. We need a old Boogie and Peg shirt. Side card. Something. That's a stepbrother shirt. Nah, we need one of the side card. Yeah, chill out. Chill out. Shit. <laughs> 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 we need an old bad boy. Hold man. your weight, Peg. Have you ever seen somebody create something that you like? Damn, all that's dope. Of me? Yeah. Oh, all the time. Yeah. All the time. I love fan art. Or fan creativity or creations. It just shows that what you did was saw and felt. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Shit, somebody just recently made a damn painting. That was cool. Yeah. I ain't gonna get painted, but next clip. <laughs> <laughs> that flew over your head. It's yeah, right. I see. Yeah, I see. It went well, man. It's Pull up like, down, man. Right. Yeah, yeah. Here we go, fourth down, man. Fan questions of the week, man. I've been looking forward to it, pig. I've been looking forward to it. The people want to know. Let me see what the people want to know. Let me see what the people want to know. Well, the fans got something to say. E. Shunusui. Don't know what that is. Zoro says, favorite childhood grub, but what is it? Cereal. Cer what kind? Cereal. So I would do cereal and uh, a, a, a three stack peanut butter and jelly. But what kind of cereal you eat? It's a blend. You know, cinnamon, toast crunch, and then uh, mm -hmm. Lucky Charms. Did you always do the name brand or did you do like the Hell no, nah, I had to. Cinnamon Squares? Cinnamon Squares for sure. <laughs> Lucky Trophies and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, <laughs> rainbows. <laughs> shit. Marshmallow O's, you know what I mean? Like it was you... everything, but my cereal <laughs> came in damn near a trash bag. Damn. You feel the me? big the, the shareables. Big, the big bag. Nah. The big the big dumb bag. Like that mm. bag, all that cereal was in there. Shit. My mom that's my mom. My mama used to buy the frosted lions and shit like that. Shit. Like, if I did, man, I would've I would've I would've paid for a um masterpiece cereal. You know okay. what I'm saying? See what that's like. You masterpiece. feel me? show some support to the folks. But my childhood grew up would have been cereal. Mm -hmm. And then I would make a strawberry. Strawberry jelly. Strawberry jelly, where you have a three breaded um, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Man. Brian Schaffering said, what was your favorite place slash formation to run? 
I mean, is this really a question? The name of the show is what, Peg? Fourth and one. I mean, the name of the show is what? Fourth and one. So give me the ball, dog. See, that's for real, for sure. Anytime a play needed to be made, mm -hmm. I wanted the ball in my hands. Okay. I needed it. I felt more comfortable running the football, but I could throw. You know what I'm saying? Ask my girl. She know I can sling it. <laughs> oh my God. Man, yeah. so go live formation. Man, listen, I like to score. Yeah, put it, get in the end zone. You know what I mean? What about throwing plays? Like, what's yeah, what's your favorite throwing play? Like, or maybe just what's your favorite pass to throw? Like, oh, yeah. Like route. The, what's the your route, route? What's your my favorite route? route to throw. There was a phase where me and Greg was like, Wi-Fi booming. I mean, Metro booming. Mm -hmm. AB business booming. Feel me? Bro, to isolate Greg and hit, it, we didn't even necessarily need to call her out because I knew he was thinking what I was thinking. And it, it was so contagious that I started getting good chemistry with Philly Brown and Jericho yeah. Cotri and Ted, and when they started seeing it, it was like, oh, I see how he's reading it. We never had rules to the route. It was just like a read route. Yeah. And then once it kept, we kept getting more reps to it, it was just like, boom, that's what we're doing. And it was just so much timing that. So your route with Greg was like a slant? Was it like you just? It was like three strides. Okay. And you can go in or you can go out. You sound like you were putting in your hand, like bro, like real talk, like go up about like, a tree, turn, go left. Listen, one, two, three, uh, and it it was. It's on you. It's like a dance. Ooh, one, uh, two. Uh. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Keep your shoes on. I swear, I swear, I ain't got the, I ain't got the bag yet. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, here, yeah, yeah, I feel it. Yeah. So UB two X says, "What's your welcome to the NFL moment?" Welcome to the NFL moment. Oh, it was preseason. It was my second game starting. Okay, who's y'all playing? Play Cincinnati Bengals. My okay. rookie year, 2011. And the first game I started that year, we had four preseason games. The first one was the Giants. The second one was uh, the Dolphins. Mm -hmm. Third one was the Bengals. Then the fourth one was the Steelers. And um, I, I lined up under the wrong person. I broke the huddle and everything. I was trying to get my thing. And then I was, oh, shit. Damn. Said why they did, you know what I mean? It was just, but it was so something nobody really knew. But played it You off. can't find that one. <laughs> you did. In New England Sports Review said, looking back on your time in New England, what was one of your favorite memories? Ooh. And by that. Memories? Mm-hmm. Man, just the experience of being so curious what the Patriots, like just finding out what, what the fuck they do different. Yeah. What is it that makes them great? What yeah. is the Patriot way? You know what I'm saying? And having Jules, like, man, we had some sessions, bro. Like, it was just good energy. You know, he had a nice little setup in, 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 uh, in Boston. Um, and just that grind, bro. Yeah. That grind, like. I damn near went crazy. Like, bro, my my workload in a given day was ridiculous. Like, I would leave the facility around like eight and nine p.m. Mm -hmm. and be back in the facility at like four thirty-five. Then I would have to drive back to Boston Throw from Foxborough. Those would be like forty-five minutes to an hour, depending on what traffic was. Even at that time of night or early in the morning, it was like, damn, it was a lot. Man, I remember uh, Jed Fish had told me this. He was like, man, New England, there's one thing that you have to do. You mm. have to raise your mental stamina. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Dude was so, tr like, correct. Like, they just, your mental stamina, like, in meetings, focus. In walkthroughs, focus. Why you working out? Focus. Why you on the field? 
Focus. Why are you watching film? Focus. Why are you eating? Focus. Why are you getting treatment? Focus. Why are you just doing other things? It's just like, re it's so, like your mental stamina has to be geared toward, and it's an art. Not mm -hmm. a lot of people, it's not for everybody. And um, some would say it wasn't for me, but, you know, I, 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 I experienced it. And it was something that, like I told him, it would always have a long lasting effect on how I view business now. Mm -hmm. Because it's the reason why they were a dynasty for so long. It's because they created a way that that was a proven product. So that's that. That's what it is. What we got, Pig? What's Newton's Law this week? Well, we're talking about, man, this, this carousel, man, of everybody, different transactions going down in the NFL. Yeah. Contract signing. And Kirko Chains is headed to the ATL. Yeah. I'm just going to run down a few of the people that got signed this week. We got Saquon to the Eagles. Man, good for him. Three years, $37 million, mm -hmm. 26 guaranteed. Giants trade Brian Burns and give him a five-year, 150 contract mm -hmm. um 87.5 guaranteed panthers get uh new york Giants second round and fifth round dang uh baker mayfield three year 100 million out 50 million guaranteed mike evans two years 52 million russell williams well russell wilson goes to the steelers he gets the league minimum but denver is still on the hook for 38 million just this year gotcha Mac Jones get traded to the Jags. Mm. Chris Jones uh, resigns five year, hundred and sixty million dollars with the Chiefs. Raiders defensive tackle now defensive tackle. Uh, Christian Wilkins four year, a hundred and ten million dollar deal. Josh Jacobs signs with the Packers for four years, forty eight million. And then you got your boy Kirko, four years, one eighty, includes fifty million. Signing bonus to the Atlanta Falcons. Got to my, there's some money out there. So we got to break down that Kirko uh, and how much money he been getting. He been getting Man, it for a long it, time now. I've been doing it for a long time. Sheesh. I mean, like. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely alarming to to see. But, bro, what you going to get mad at? Kirko? Yeah. Like, like dang. Kirk Cousins has been really a beneficiary he has benefited off of a lot of things going right. Because even the statistics for his career. So in 2027, he would have made $411 million, close to a half of a billy mm -hmm. from playing the NFL. $329 million guaranteed over his career. And the stats is he only won one playoff game in 12 years. Yeah. I mean, and he's the fifth, high, fifth most um, paid player in NFL history in 2030. He'll I think a guy like Kirk Cousins get gets like a pass on a lot of stuff though. Elaborate. Cuz he, he he's not a a big personality. Mhm. Mm you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when I look at this list like I mean Aaron Rodgers we see that. Yeah. Joe Burrow, we see that. Russell Wilson obviously. Um, you know, Patrick Mahomes. Like we don't see Kirk Cousins outside of football. Like, you don't see Kirk Cousins in any campaigns. He doesn't make any advertising money. So, it's real quiet, you know, how he kind of trades. He's always been, like, the safe right pick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like everything points to, like, I can see what the Falcons saw in choosing Kirk Cousins. Okay. Then somebody would say, well, why didn't they get Justin Fields? Fields yeah. It's still a risk either, either way. way yeah. He's and I think safer. when you're comparing the two, Kirk Cousins is more proven as a starter than Justin Fields is. When you when you align certain things, what it is, that's what it is. Not we're not talking about ceiling. We're talking about what does the statistics say. Okay. We're not talking about skill set. We're talking about what the statistics say. And even though that it is extremely alarming that he only had one playoff win. Because I was going to ask you, what are you playing in, the game for? Now? In 12 years. But he been breaking the bank. But it's it's like a safe pick. I feel like I don't know. I think that the the Atlanta Falcons was trying to go find a Matt Ryan. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they was trying to scratch that itch. 
Yeah. Like they, we don't, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. But do I get mad or frustrated that I see this statistic that he's made $329 million in fully guaranteed money? Fuck no. Mm-hmm. Go get that money. Go get do that I money. get mad at a Baker Mayfield for signing for 100 M's? Fuck no. Go get that money. money. Do I get mad when I see Russell Wilson and somebody having to pay him $38 million to potentially be on a uh, on the bench? Fuck no. Go get that money. Shit, bro. You're making it off of you. You know what I mean? Go get that money, bro. Like, these people are people that has to provide for their families. So one part of me can't be like, damn, he ain't worth it. Shit, bro, you don't know what it's like to be sore. You don't know what it's like to prepare. You don't know what it's like to to be blamed for something that I guarantee you if you go down those 12 years Mm -hmm. and you were to look at those games and how it played out and you say to yourself, like, man, was Kirk Cousins the reason why he lost all those games? Hell no. The NFL has so many different determining factors of how a game is to be won or lost. And a lot of times you're not the reason, but it goes on your stat sheet. That's why my heart goes out to the Dak Prescott's because Dak played some good football, good enough football to win some games, and then bad enough, um, bad enough football to still win games. Mm. So it's like, what do you do? It's just the defense had a great game. I didn't. Okay, I had a good game. The defense didn't, so we lost. So it's like you want to – it's so – that, that, that battle between is he worth it versus – is he going to do his job consistently enough to put our team in the best position to win? I think that's what the Atlanta Falcons was thinking about. Mm-hmm. So, and even when you think about the um, the Russell Wilson yeah. situation, he's betting it all on himself. He knows that this is the last stop. Yeah. So he wants to probably go in and compete. He feels as if that this this team has enough. And still, with the draft around the corner, to still make a push. Um, he got some weapons, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, George. George Pickens is that deal. Like, real talk. Najee so, you got a deal. guy. Guys, not just a guy. Yeah, you got, got guys, guys that you can, you know, the running back. Like, come yeah, on now. Yeah. Defense. So Coach. It's not like you're going to a messed up situation by none of these guys, to say the least. Um but but still, like I I I'm I'm in Atlanta. So since you're in Atlanta, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. What's the boogie bylaws for Kirko? If he had to come here, what's give me a two to three rules of Kirk Cousins coming to Atlanta? What's the like governing boogie bylaws about Atlanta that he should know? Uh, you got to fuck with the people. This for anywhere you go, you got to <clears throat> yeah. fuck with the people. You cannot be. You cannot run the risk or just make it solely about football. Okay. That's one thing my father instilled in me. He's like, son, you have to show yourself in the community. Win, lose, or draw. These are the people that's going to support you. These are the people that's going to call into the radio shows. These are the people that's going to buy your uh, your jerseys. These are the people that's going to, you know, yay, you know, win, lose, or draw. Mm-hmm. So don't just make it all about football. And it's, it's so – contradicting because it's like you're here to play football, yeah. you know, but the money that you're getting paid, and I think Matt Ryan did a relatively good job with, with showing his face. He was here long enough to yeah. do that. So, yeah, bro, it's just something that you're just going to have to have to do, bro. And I think he's good enough to, to put them in position to win. Okay. So it ain't just like it's a trash pick. Or a trash acquisition. You know what I'm saying? It's just one of them situations. Now, he's coming off of a Achilles. Achilles. That's above all. Look, bro. None of that other shit matters. Okay. This playoff, one playoff win, doesn't matter. You could have went and got Justin Fields. Doesn't matter. Um, the thing that's alarming for me is he's coming off of an injury. Mm-hmm. And he still got the bag. Wow. A serious injury. Yeah. And got a big bag. Big one. Guaranteed bag, too. Ooh. Got to money. 
four million dollars. But damn, but like that's just, I can't make it about me. Mm. But if I were to make it about me, it's like, yo, I had lens frame injury, not as bad as an Achilles injury, yeah. but damn, fuck, who is your agent? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Call That's me. The, like, damn, who the hell is, is structuring all these? Because when I'm looking at this shit, I'm like, <laughs> I'm a, a magician. I'm, bro, bro, <laughs> won't he do it? <laughs> yes, he will. <laughs> listen, boy, listen. That agent is is agenting okay. like for real. So so we already know where all of these pieces has failed, but 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 right now we trying to figure out where you think Justin Fields will fall. What team you think he might end up with? No, bro, it's tough, dog. It's a business, and he's learning that firsthand. Yeah, Jerry Judy to the Browns, Sean Watson another one. Mm -hmm. Like you got to think about Kyler Murray. What do they do with him? You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro. <laughs> You got a, you got an opportunity to seize a moment of time that it's not all, not always guaranteed that they're gonna ride it out with you. And it's not always fair too. On it's not. End. It's not. But I don't. I don't take things personal. Yeah. And nor should you or anybody take it personal. Man, this is business, bro. Yeah. Things got to be done, and you don't always have to agree with it. It's <laughs> this business gonna business now. Okay. So. Shit. Man, there you have it, man. Uh, and as we always end things here at uh, Fourth and One, four things, Peggy, that you must do. What you gotta do? Help me help you. Like. Uh huh. Share. Got to share. Comment. <laughs> okay. And most of all, Peggy, you gotta subscribe. You gotta subscribe. Help to your channel. brother out. Come I'm on. I'm trying man. to tap in with the. With the club Shay Shays and the nightcaps and the all the smokes and the is what it is and the Stephen A. Smith's podcast and all this. Shout out to all of them. You know, line. Shahuka. All that. Love that. Do that by subscribing. Catch me each and every week. Did I miss anything, Peggy? No, I don't think you missed nothing, man. That's cool. One finger. Okay. One finger. Okay. One finger. Okay. One finger. One pinky, uh -huh. one thumb, uh -huh. all together, one, one love. love. Yeah, dick!